All right, what up, YouTube? Uh, back in my parents' garage. Got all the tools I need. Um, just starting to take off the engine, or remove some parts so I can, you know, work a little better. This throttle body, brand new. I had to replace that. Uh, old alternator. Hope you guys. Can, I don't even know if you guys can see this. Probably not good light, but the second one will go right here. So that's it for now. Have the cover here. Put all this stuff. I gotta show you. I gotta show you the oldest uh, voltmeter I've ever seen. It's even a load tester as well. Kind of funny. Uh, here's all the stuff that's got to get installed. All the bolts. New belt. Relay. Wiring harness. New bracket. New alt. So I'll be uh, updating you guys. Alright. See ya. Alright, what's up guys? Um, kind of got a mock-up. Uh, see you. You guys can't really see too well. That's a little better. But I got the second one in. Got the belt on to make sure it fits. It's got the belt tensioner almost tightened all the way down, so it's a real snug fit. Um, dumbass me forgot the support bracket that goes in the back, connecting this top bolt to the bottom bolt of the OEM alt. So I'm having my friend drive it out. So it's an hour drive, so um, yeah, just got to wait on that, and I'm going to start wiring up the relay harness so the alternator turns on. All right, see you guys. All right, what's up, YouTube? Just finished getting the second all done. It's all wired up. Uh, first, it didn't work, but we had a bad ground, so we grounded it to the original engine block ground. As you can see, we got our old school meter. Nothing better than this. Look at that. It's in around 14.8. We got, I uh, separated the alts. I got the original just running what it was supposed to do, the stock battery and the, what the car really needs. And I got the DC power running the amps. But last night I sold my AQ2200. So uh, as of now, I have no base, just my mids and highs. So, you can't really see in there at all. So, that's it. Stay tuned for some videos.